Hello everyone, this is Ron Jones from Liam Berets. I'm joined by my great friend and colleague, Philippe Till, and he's going to be discussing a little bit about George Hubert's natural method in relation to some nature play outdoor experiences for children. This is a very important topic. Philippe and I are both parents of multiple children. So, um, Philippe, what do you think about that? What, what does history say about the importance of educating children through a natural experience like we're in today? So the interesting aspect of that is, uh, again, when we're talking about natural method and more specifically uh, his work in the strength code, Ibeam defines the various stages of life and the various ages uh, that are appropriate for training. And in that category is, of course, how to train children and the approach you need to have with children versus, for instance, the approach you have for athletes or the military versus, again, the everyday person, uh, senior citizens, as well as even, you know, more specifically how he views training for women, which is not that much different, honestly, than men, but he focuses more on grace and flexibility. Now, when it comes to children, children have an innate, instinctive, natural desire to do things. They all want to run, they all want to climb, and bring them into an environment like this is really a celebration. It's almost like a black belt test, but in a fun way. It's a place where you go and do the things that you're naturally meant to do. So, because they naturally want to do that, it is important to keep a very educational element for children so that they take that instinct and they hone it in through a little bit more methodical, disciplined work, which is again what teachers teach in schools with academics. The same thing has to be done with physicality. And that whole physicality and that education, uh, physical culture, is more than just training the body. It's about teaching you how to become a responsible, useful citizen with high moral values, with a sense of altruism, as well as um, th this, uh, he calls it virile, virile qualities, but it's essentially just being able to make a decision, acting out of cold blood, which means very focused, not phased by anything. And again, that's by training kids to do all these various tasks and skills and develop able bodies, abilities, you then throw them into an environment like this and they just get doing to get to do what they want to do in a much more safe way.